We're looking at number two. Number two says determine all solutions to the quadratic equation shown below. All right, so what we have here, we're trying to find the solution set. So the first thing I do is I multiply the leading coefficient by the constant. So what multiplies to negative 24 is the sign in front and adds to 10. So what I like to do is list the factors of 24 and go from there. 1 and 24, doesn't matter which one is negative. <coughs> it's going to always, not, it's not going to work. 2 and 12, ooh, this is a good one. Well, we need it to be positive, so the smaller number has to be negative. Negative 2 times 12 is negative 24, and 12 minus 2 is going to be equal to 10, so this is our ticket. <coughs> so what we do, since our leading coefficient is 1, we can just factor it quickly, like so. x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 12 is equal to 0. Right here, we can use the zero product property to kind of find out our answers. So how do we make this into a zero? You add two. So our first answer of this set is two. Our second answer, x plus 12. Subtract 12 to both sides. We get x equals negative 12. So our solution set is x is equal to negative 12 and 2. All right. There we go. That's our answer.